everyone and welcome to another series of our videos with Justin Dunkel of um, Paragon Properties. Uh, beautiful cold Saturday morning here in uh, Royal Oak, Michigan. Um, first thing I want to talk about and we're not going to continue to talk about Paragon's success in the social media space so people don't get bored but today was kind of a cool day. Um, on two of the sites we've been working on for Paragon. We made it to page one, number one, for apartments. That particular city, one was apartments in Westland, Michigan, the other was apartments in uh, Clinton Township. I think we hit Southfield too. Didn't and we? in Southfield, Michigan. So three of his websites we got to page one Google, um, and uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, their website traffic is up, I think, um, about 17 percent and we will now as we progress through the first quarter um, start measuring is there actual physical traffic going up and guest cards and all those kind of things um, but we're going to talk about a couple other things today there was a lot of discussion on apartment chat on Friday about Craigslist ads um, Justin I know you guys use Craigslist ads a lot um, what's your opinion of those versus other forms of, of ads that you guys do to drive traffic? Uh, first of all, I'm just amazed at the quantity of traffic, you know, the, the, the numbers that we're getting from Craigslist. Um, I saw someone yesterday that, that said that they were getting almost like 80 or 90 percent of their traffic from Craigslist. We're not quite that high, but uh, honestly, I, right now, in terms of at least inquiries on, on the phone from what I, what I can look at, it's 40 to 50 percent of our, our traffic right now. Um, which is pretty amazing because that's a huge shift from where it was a year ago or, or even two years ago. Now, to quantify that, because, you know, Craigslist isn't free, per se, mm -hmm. um, how much time do you think you guys, I mean, I know what we do in our little shop, but, I mean, because you have scattered sites and all different properties, do you, does corporate do the ads or do they do them on site? No, they, they do them on a site, and week by week I can tell who's actually actually doing it on Craigslist versus right. who is it. And so and how do you measure that? That's the other Well, part. exactly. And, and realistically, you can't afford for one site to be all over one week and generate a ton of traffic and get some sure. leases out of it, and then someone go on vacation and they fall all over themselves the next week. I mean, we just we can't slow down in this business. We need to keep going every single day. So, um, you know, we, we do have a template that we've created and kind of tweaked over the last year that we use for our ads on Craigslist. So there's not a ton of creative um, input that needs to come from the field. Mm -hmm. That being said, we got a lot of that creative input for the template, but it just makes it makes the actual posting a lot simpler for them. You may be changing a special, you might be tweaking a feature, a benefit, something like that. Sure. And, th and then you put it out there. But, um, you know, I've got sites, sites that are, are really slow on traffic right now from the traditional sources. Uh, they might be posting four, five, you know, six, up to eight times a day. For that particular for, for that For that particular, you know, 300-unit wow. apartment community. And, and do, you do, do you do links back to your website? We will do an, a link occasionally. Um, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm probably not the biggest expert on this. I'm hopefully, I'm, I'm the end user, and I'm just looking at the traffic sure. and the leases. Uh, that would be a great discussion for uh, Dana, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, on, on how they do it. So, okay. yeah, I know we do have some links in it occasionally. And of your ads, some of them are, I call them organic, where mm -hmm. it looks more like a, um, just an ad that someone typed up. Yep. I know for us, um, we went through a period where we thought, um, wow, you know, we had all these templates, whether it was um, fee flyers and as, again, mm -hmm. as an example. Yeah. And it makes a really clean, nice looking ad. But we watched our Craigslist traffic fall off when we used those. Yeah. I mean, the good news is that they populate so many sites, but I don't know why people tend to gravitate toward these organic-looking ads. What's your experience? Well, I agree. We, we mix both the kind of the high-end, fancy ads and also the, the real, what you would call organic ads. Very, yeah. very simple, maybe even blind at times in terms of the property. Um, so you don't even say no, it's we don't say the property name. And I guess the way, you know, if we kind of go old school on this, my, my equation or my equal to this is it's the difference between a, kind of a liner or a blind liner ad in the newspaper versus your display ad. Yeah. You know, and, and you're, you're probably looking at a different customer and you're looking for a different result. 
Um, the, the liner is probably a little bit more specific, maybe on a specific unit or a, a certain floor plan, whereas a display ad, you're trying to get the biggest bang for your buck. Um, I think, personally, and, and I think you know, Mark Jolene, actually, he did one of his uh, partner nerd posts about Craigslist, and just it, it being a, a story, and I think people are they're sure. much more interested in finding their apartment. You know, right. and it's a great story to be able to say, I found it on Craigslist, and hey, I found this, this great, cool, little, clean apartment community, Sure. Um, you know, in Royal Oak or Ferndale or whatever. So, to kind of steal um, one of the lines from uh, HubSpot TV, I love those guys, if you ever want to get some cool marketing stuff, they're on every Friday at uh, 4 o'clock, but anyway, they always have, so the marketing takeaway would be, and I guess the marketing takeaway for me here would be, you know, mix your ads up. Um, don't use one, use, use, there's various services out there that certainly work well, but also mix up some organic stuff. And to your point, sometimes even leave your name off of there. Yeah, I, I guess. guess. So, yeah. Mar marketing is, is a, you know, part of it is I believe it's a hundred things in a million combinations. Great. That's what it is. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. See you all later.